welcome to the LSU campus in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You're about to take a quick tour of Patrick F. Taylor Hall, home of the LSU College of Engineering. But first, how about this view? By the way, if you're afraid of heights, you might want to fast forward through this bit. The newly renovated and expanded engineering building officially opened in 2018. The building now measures more than 400,000 square feet and houses numerous state-of-the-art research labs and classrooms, as well as plenty of student-centered spaces for studying and hanging out. Like here, in the capstone gallery, where the stairs are flanked by spaces for upperclassmen students to work on their capstone design projects. And here, in the Cambry Atrium, where classrooms run its length on one side, ranging from 30 seats to the 250 seat Royal Martin Auditorium. On the other side, several chemical engineering labs, like the BASF Sustainable Living Lab, which promotes problem-based teaching and research focused on sustainable solutions to meet global challenges. One current project is investigating a process to use sunlight for water purification in the developing world. Further down, you'll find the Dow Chemical Unit Operations Lab, where students in chemical engineering use industry-grade equipment, which has been donated to the college by our many industry partners. This makes this lab the perfect place for upperclassmen students to get hands-on experience with the type of equipment and controls they could use out on the job. In the heart of the building is the Commons, a space for students to hang out, study, and eat at the adjacent Panera Bread restaurant. Yes, we have a Panera inside the college. Also near the Commons is the Dow Student Leadership Incubator, which provides meeting and storage space for the more than 40 student organizations in the college. Elsewhere on the first floor, our students and faculty conduct research in a variety of areas, including fluids phase behavior, chemicals and soils, ergonomics and safety, strengths of metal and timber in buildings and building structures, smart power grids, and robotics. All of this research requires some impressive equipment, so on the first floor alone you'll find things like a wind tunnel, tensile strength testers, and a hydraulically controlled robotic arm. Across Engineering Lane from Patrick F. Taylor Hall is the Engineering Lab Annex. Here students have access to a number of contemporary manufacturing and fabrication resources and services. It's also home to our Tiger Racing Team, which designs and builds a three-quarter formula car each year to race in the annual Formula SAE competitions. Back inside Patrick F. Taylor Hall, this is the Chevron Center for Engineering Education. This near 3,000 square foot facility houses the Engineering Communication Studio and serves as a hub for engineering students interested in traveling abroad, learning communication techniques, and becoming an LSU Distinguished Communicator. On the second floor, you'll find the MMR Building Information Modeling Lab, or BIM Lab. 44 55-inch OLED display screens provide a 300-degree visual, creating a virtual reality environment that provides data visualization and allows construction management students the opportunity to do things like visit building sites and make assessments without leaving the classroom. In our printed circuit board lab, Students design and fabricate circuit boards. The lab is fully outfitted with soldering stations, cutting machines, etc. Around the corner, students and faculty from chemical engineering and biological engineering work on research in biochemistry and signaling, which has applications in cancer identification and treatment. The ETEC Hydraulics and Water Distribution Lab is an experimental and modeling facility for civil and environmental engineering students where they can get hands-on experience in the real-time monitoring, control, and modeling of hydraulic systems. One last thing to show you, our driving simulator lab, also known as the car room. Students use this simulator to research safety in work zones, driving behaviors, connected vehicles, and even driver performance in hurricane winds. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for now. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the College of Engineering. There's so much more to see. 
but you'll have to do it in person. Visit the URL on your screen to plan your visit to the college today. We hope to see you soon.